What's going on you guys? It's Boy Roll back with another vlog. So, right now, um, it is July 12th. I am getting all of my stuff ready because we're about to, or I'm about to head out to train one of my in-person clients. Well, my, my only in-person client. And then after that, I am going to get some steps in early in the morning. It is the first Monday that I don't actually have to work at the part-time job that I had at the credit union. Um, so it's gonna be a very very busy day. I'm gonna go ahead and like I said train my client I'm gonna end up going to the trail getting a few steps in kind of getting my morning routine done um, You know, I, I do a lot of things like listening to podcasts and kind of um, I am more of a Religious person therefore so I take that time to kind of like read or listen to the Bible and pray and then from there I'll be coming back and then getting back to work. Um, I have a lot of things that I need to get done today I have a lot of client check-ins that I need to do so Sit back, relax, and enjoy this vlog. Finally got to the trail. I ended up training my client and it took a little bit longer than what I anticipated, but got it done right now. I'm getting a few steps in early in the morning, trying to be a little bit more active now that I'm not actually having to sit down at a desk <laughs> a good chunk of my day, which I will be later, but I'm gonna try and get steps early on in the day. That way I won't have to really worry about it later. I'm giving you guys a little bit of an update as to what's going on with me. Well, you know, what's happening. The last video I uploaded, I was talking about possibly going on, on a cycle or starting a cycle. And after talking to my coach, you know, weighing out the options, we kind of decided that maybe that's not the best option. Not that he, not that he doesn't think I, I, I can't do it. He precisely doesn't really care. Um, but he thinks that if I am wanting to compete, you know, I don't have many years left. I'm 29 and I mean, there are people that compete up to a certain age, but prime condition, I guess, or prime look, I'm kind of getting past that. I decided to not, not get on gear. But right now I am currently still kind of doing a little bit of a reverse diet my calories have been increasing and honestly despite the fact that my calories have been increasing I've actually been losing more weight um, despite me being in a calorie deficit earlier and I think it was just the fact that I was my metabolism had really been shot after prep after the show my metabolism just wasn't wasn't functioning the way that I wanted it to right now I'm increasing calories daily or not daily but weekly um, calories right now are like 2,500 a little bit over 2,500 carbs are at 300 uh, protein is at 190 and my fats are at 65 and honestly this is the best that I felt I feel like I'm pushing myself in the gym I feel like I'm doing everything right body composition is starting to change I start to I'm starting to notice a little bit more muscle growth which is ultimately what I wanted so that's kind of what's going what's going on with me um, it's it's a beautiful day outside I, I know that you guys can hear the cicadas um, so I really do apologize for that I can't control that but it's a beautiful day outside I'm gonna continue walking so I'll see you guys in a bit so I kind of wanted to come on here also um, aside from giving you guys an update as to what's going on with me um, obviously this is a channel for information and value so kind of wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind something that I've I've been noticing in the fitness industry and it's it's very common honestly because of social media and obviously social media is a great thing um, it can be a bad thing but it can be a great thing as well depending on how you use it and what information you actually get from it but the one thing that I wanted to talk about is the top mistake that I see beginners make man I see I see a lot of beginners making obviously a lot of mistakes because they're beginners but the biggest one that I see that if you are watching this channel you should avoid is constantly switching up your program as I was saying so the, the top mistake I see beginners make is not sticking to a program. I see a lot, a lot of beginners um, seeing different workouts on social media and they think it's really cool and so they want to try it and that's not a bad thing. Like obviously you're getting ideas, however, constantly switching up your programs or your workouts, that's, that doesn't give you the chance of progressive overload. The biggest way that you're going to truly see some results, some progress in the gym, is if you are focusing on progressive overloading. And progressive overloading is just progressing every single time you go into the gym. Um, it can either be adding more weight, you can be focusing on form, you can be focusing on time under tension, um, you can be adding more, more reps, more sets, whatever the case may be. But you kind of have to be doing the same exercises 
to be able to do progressive overloading. And if you're coming into the gym and doing a completely different workout every single time, like if you're doing a, ch a push day, but your push day is different every single week, then you're not gonna truly focus on progressive overloading. Even if you have the same exercises, if you have them in a different order, you're not gonna be able to progressive overload. It's just not possible because your body's gonna be stimulated in a different way, and it's not gonna allow you to progressive overload it correctly. And while I do understand the concept of shock the muscle, you can shock the muscle even with doing the same exercises in the same order. Again, add more, add more weight, add more reps, add more sets, do a little bit more time under tension, focus more on your form. Like there are different ways to shock the muscle even if you're doing them in the same order, the same, you know, the same way every single week. So avoid that as a beginner. Make sure that you're getting on a structured program. Make sure that you're sticking to your structured program and you're gonna speed up your progress so much more. And I wish that's something that someone would have told me when I first started. I just, I didn't have a coach and I was just kind of doing whatever. And then I started realizing that if I stuck to a program and really allowed myself to grow in that program, that routine, I started seeing more results. So if you are new to working out, make sure that you're sticking to a program. Make sure you're sticking to a routine. I can guarantee that you're gonna see much, much better results because you're gonna truly focus on progressive overloading. You're gonna truly focus on mastering, and I put that in quotations because there's people that are, are still in the game. They've been in the game for so long and they're still trying to master an exercise, but you're gonna master in a sense that exercise even better. I mean, obviously there's gonna be tweaks that you'll always be able to do, but you're gonna understand the exercise you'll be able to focus more and contract better so definitely definitely stick to a program avoid that mistake focus on progressive overloading and you're gonna see results so fast all right guys so back at home after I walked I came back home and I needed to get some client check-ins done so that's what I've been doing for like the past two and a half hours um, and right now I'm taking a little bit of a break I'm gonna go get gas and I'm probably gonna go pick up Julie um, for lunch but I actually she doesn't get off until like 2 30 so never mind I may just wait to do that but right now finishing up my client check-ins and honestly I'm extremely proud of all of the work that they're putting in and I honestly can't living this lifestyle it's just it's extremely rewarding if, if you're anyone who's an online coach you're gonna understand exactly where I'm coming from it's a very rewarding um, job because honestly you're just helping people become better daily and to me that's an extremely satisfying job because you know any any knowledge that I have I get to share with them and I get to see the progress that they make and honestly for some of them it's it's extremely you know it is a truly life-changing and it's life or death situation for some of these people that come to me and and they're really struggling and if they continue on the path that they were on you know th there's could be there could be some serious consequences and so I I truly love the fact that I get to help people make change um, as always, if you guys are looking to hire an online coach and you don't know where to start, link is going to be in the description below. I will be glad to help you take your fitness journey to the next level and make changes that you couldn't possibly imagine before. Um, right now, like I said, I'm going to go get gas. I'm taking a small break from working because I've just been doing a lot. I've been extremely focused the past couple of hours and I just need a small break, but I will see you guys later. After, whenever I said I was going to go get um, gas and everything. Julie actually ended up getting out for lunch a lot earlier. She texted me that she was going to get off at 2.30, but she actually meant to say it was 12.30. So she ended up getting off a lot earlier, ended up eating lunch with her. And then, honestly, I just started finishing up some client check-ins. I, I had like a couple of people submit theirs a little bit later. I finished theirs, and then I just started finishing up my precision nutrition certification. Um, I, I have like five more chapters that I have to finish up, um, but I'm, I'm pretty much done at this point. I've answered enough questions that I technically am certified, but I have to just go through the, all the formalities. Um, right now, I'm waiting for Julie to get off of work. We're about to go to the gym, so I'm gonna start getting my pre-workout ready. I already had my pre-workout meal, had some cream of wheat um, with banana, 
a protein powder and honestly letting it digest. I've been doing a lot better about letting it digest earlier on before I actually get to the gym and it's it's been really working. My workouts have been feeling phenomenal and right now I'm really enjoying food. I, I'm, I'm eating more. I'm not really too stressed about going over my calories because of the fact that my calories are so much higher. Right now I'm, I'm sitting at 25, 45 I think, um, with 190 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbs, and 65 grams of fat. And I, I'm honestly loving it. I'm getting plenty of energy to get a really, really solid workout in, getting a good pump and everything. So honestly, I'm enjoying everything. I'm enjoying the process. I'm really enjoying the changes that are, that are happening because of it. Luna's over here really stressed out because I'm not paying attention to her. But anyways, gonna get everything ready. Then gonna go to the gym. I'm bringing you guys along with me. It is a push day. Um, it's a completely different push day than what I've done in the past. So I'm really excited to show you guys this push day. And then that should wrap up the vlog. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Let go. So, just finished up a, a very intense push day. It was chest, shoulders, and triceps, and honestly, it was definitely one of the roughest and most intense push day that I've actually had in a while, and that's just because I'm, I'm trying to grow. This is the perfect time for me to put on a little bit more size while my calories are up before we end up going into a cut. Um, my coach basically said that we were going to most likely do a cut um, around August, August 1st, that's the ETA, but right now I'm going to embrace and enjoy the extra calories, the extra carbs, and really try and put on a little bit more of some lean muscle while I can. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a physique update and then see you guys at home. I'm going to show you guys um, all relaxed and then posing a little bit, so I'm also a little sweaty because of finishing workout and cardio. So. Here's front, here's side, here's back, here's the other side, and now getting a little bit of posing in. Here's front. Finally made it home, got our food ready, rock in some quesadillas right there and a little bit of hot Cheetos, there you guys go. Um, just to kind of have a little bit of balance and enjoying again the extra calories. Gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and turn on post notifications. You guys won't miss another video. I'm gonna be a lot more consistent now that I'm not at my job. So I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.